So inflammatory bowel disease is, is quite a common condition, although once again, when you present to your uh, family doctor or GP with symptoms, they don't see an awful lot of inflammatory bowel disease. So although it's common to us in secondary care, it can still be a relatively uncommon condition to diagnose for a GP. And of course, a lot of the symptoms that you might start with experiencing are common to all sorts of other conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome but it's important to differentiate the two. So some of the symptoms might include a change in bowel habit, an urge to go to the toilet, loose frequent, maybe bloody stools, not necessarily visible blood but you may have blood in your stool. A feature of an inflamed uh, colon is an urgent need to go to the toilet. Obviously increasing number of visits to the toilet, sometimes going at night, that would be slightly unusual. And outside of that, other uh, problems that inflammatory bowel disease patients may have could include abdominal pain, which could be crampy and squeezing type pain. They might, may have some nausea or vomiting, and they may have difficulty in gaining weight uh, and they may indeed have anemia, which you may not be aware of initially, but if you're fatigued and tired and you had a blood test, you check your iron levels and your blood count, and some of these patients can present with anemia or anemia-related symptoms. So if you have any of those sorts of symptoms, then obviously a, an initial assessment by your GP would be worthwhile.